Fox. My God, oh God, this is sound like God level. This is the glitch transition slash glitch pop-up person transition that you see in a lot of videos. You don't really see him in a lot of videos, but it's, you see him some here and there. It's a really good effect, especially if you have a frantic editing style where a lot of things are happening and you just have a lot. I use it a lot. I just see it in videos. It's just a really cool effect. So let's get into the tutorial. Also, reminder to follow me on Instagram and check out my self I for any presets and my editing pack and whatnot. After Effects and Premiere Pro presets are coming to the myself I soon, so just hold on for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so right here you, you can see my clips, and it's just a hard cut from one clip to the other. And so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make a transition of him popping up with the glitch effect and then going to the end. So you want so what you want to do first is you want to go to where your clip meets uh, each other. So you want to do your first frame of the second clip. Click on this little camera put button right here click that um, it'll say export frame name it you can say like transition one make sure this import into project button is clicked right here I'll click OK and then it'll import right here into my project folder and I'm just gonna drag that on and to the top of my clips now you're gonna want to hold alt and left arrow key that guess that didn't work oh it's okay you're gonna want to hold Oh, shift and left arrow key, sorry. <laughs> you want to hold shift and left arrow key, then move your cursor five frames to the left. Now we're doing five frames because this transition is very frantic and very fast. You know, if you have it for about 10 frames, it's going to be too long. You're going to want to do it between five and three frames. So it's just really fast and it's kind of like a flashing effect. So you're going to drag it, your, your transition, your frame that you just put in there. You're going to drag that all the way to your five frame marker. Now you're going to want to go to where the clips meet again, and then you're going to want to cut your transition, your, your one frame, you want to split that and delete the rest of it. So now the first thing you want to do is you want to put your marker in the beginning of your first frame of your of the still frame that you have right here, put your marker right there, click on it, you want to go to your effect controls and then go to your opacity, open that up and then you will want to click uh, your free draw tool right here and click on that and then it'll make a mask now you just want to mask him out or mask your subject out it could be a ball it could be a person it could be whatever uh, you can just mask them out now if you want to look really good they say you're doing it for a client or anything take your time on it but this effect since it goes super fast and I'm gonna feather it anyway and there's gonna be an overlay on him or and a glitch effect you can't really tell if, if the mask is bad but it's always good to you know have good masks and good looking masks so that is my mask right now. So if you look at the effect right now, we pretty much have a pop-up transition that you see a lot in the videos. Now the effect is kind of the same deal as this, except you're gonna wanna put a glitch effect on it. And there's two ways to put a glitch effect on it. If you have the universe plugins, it's already an effect they called in, it's called a uh, glitch, right? Uh, universe plugins glitch, you can just drag that onto your frame. And then once you do that, it'll, your frame will look like this right it'll go in it'll be glitchy and then go into the frame so if you look at it fast light fast like it'll do like that which is what they did in the fiji macintosh video a lot or let's say that you don't want to do it like that or let's say you don't have the universe plugins you can kind of create your own glitch so the way you're going to do that is you can simply do it with overlays so i have two overlays i'm going to use i have this tv static right here which i think is the best way to do it since it it's just forever continuing and it looks kind of you know noisy and glitchy and all over the place i also have this glitch overlay right here that i'm going to use so i'm going to use this glitch overlay first i'm just going to drag this on and onto my frame i still frame and then i'm just going to go to the i'm going to find a good part of the video of this overlay probably right right here i'm going to sp split it delete the rest of it and then drag this to the beginning of this and make sure it's the same length as my still frame so now I have this. So what we can do with this, we can either, it, de it depends on yourself, but we need to make it the size of the mask first. So you wanna click on your mask and then go to the effect controls, and click on the mask one or whatever mask you have, press control C, go back to your overlay, click on opacity and press control V. Now that will pretty much make a mask on the overlay and then it will be the same mask as, as your effect. Now we have this 
kind of mask this deal right here where it's all black and glitchy now to get rid of the blackness let's say you don't like it you can get rid of that by just changing the uh, blending mode of the layer so you want to click on your layer go to effect controls go back to your opacity make sure that's open you hear you right here you see blend mode you can change that to add and that will get rid of the black where's add Hold on, i can't find it i don't know but i'm gonna change it to lighten so i changed it to lighten and right as right here you see that the black is getting rid of and he has this kind of glitch on him so if you look at it right now it'll be something like that now i'm going to do the same effect the same technique just with the tv static now i'm going to do the same thing since it's a tv static i like where it is it's going to look the same split this make it the same length as the clip click on my my if my still frame copy the mask over and it'll be like this now the thing is I, the way i chose this one is because i like the blackness of it but i don't i don't like how it's just you know weird black blob and then straight into my second clip so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keyframe the opacity of the vhs or the of the glitch overlay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the beginning of the overlay where it starts click on this little keyframe here since my stopwatch is already clicked i'm gonna go to the end and then I'm just gonna drag this all the way down to zero. So if you look at the clip now, we go, he goes VHS, the VHS goes away, and then transition, which is what they did in the Fiji Macintosh video a lot. And I like how it looks. I just like this one looks better more than the other glitch overlay. No glitch effect is completed unless you have a glitch sound effect. So I have this glitch sound effect right here from my editing pack, and it's nowhere near um, kind of good it's all it's all subjective what you want it to look like i think it just it's too long and whatnot but that's what we're going to use so imagine this is your glitch packed with a good sound effect so pretty much i'm just going to cut this down and i'll make this pretty small you don't want to have a long glitch sound effect you know if you if your effect is five frames and then your glitch is your glitch sound is you know a minute long then it won't really go together so i pretty much cut it down right here and then i'm put it in the beginning of the clip so if we look take a look at it I'm, it's gonna look something like this right fasten to the point and I'm gonna bring this DB down a little bit uh, make set gain to about eight so it looks something like that and it looks pretty decent for what it is and that's pretty much it for the tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, leave a like. If you didn't like it, then I don't know, do something. Please comment down below what you want to see next. More tutorials coming in. Uh, check out my Instagram. Follow me on there if you want to contact me, talk to me, and check out my Selfie. Uh, subscribe. Peace out later.